Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, Ford Focus Driver Assist Pack. Okay, so what is the Driver Assist Pack? Today's car, we've got a 2011 Ford Focus Titanium X, and it has the optional upgrade, the Driver Assist Pack. Okay, so if you're going to look to buy a new Ford Focus, there's a whole list of upgrades that you can make or have to put on the car. Each one costs a certain amount of money. Now this one in particular is a driver assist pack and it's got sort of four to five features within that pack. It's only £750 from new. I think it's a great pack. So I'll go through it with you now. I'll show you everything that's got. This one in particular today is a used Focus. So if you're looking to buy a used Focus, keep your eye out. It's only available on the Titaniums and the Titanium X models. Okay, so if you're out and about and you're having a look around, Titanium X, Titanium, make sure it's got this feature, it's well worth it. Okay, so the first one is the Blind Spot Information System. This is particularly useful um, for motorway driving, okay? You get a little yellow LED in each wing mirror, lights up to let you know and make you aware that there's still a vehicle in your blind spot, okay? And even in bright sunlight, you can see the light clearly. So great features to have, especially when you're motorway driving. For town and city driving, active city stop can help prevent low speed accidents. At less than 10 miles per hour, the focus will automatically apply the brakes and stop the car before a collision, okay? And even uh, below 20 miles per hour, it will significantly reduce the speed and the impact of the car, which will again help to reduce your repair costs. All right, so another great feature. Also within the driver assistance pack, is traffic sign recognition. This is a brilliant feature, especially if you're driving on unfamiliar roads. So if you're going away somewhere um, and it's not, you know, the place in the area is not familiar to you, what this does, it uses the front facing cameras on the car and it scans the road as you're driving and picks up the speed limit signs and relays that back to the dashboard and flags up in front of you to let you know the current speed limit of the road that you're on. Also, it flags up if there's any signs um, regarding overtaking uh, restrictions and so on. So a brilliant feature, like I say, especially if you're on roads and you're unsure of. Again, another feature, lane departure. OK, this one is really common and a lot of people know about this on the focuses. Lane departure system. OK, so what that does, it uses, again, the front facing cameras when you're driving along a, let's say, a ring road or a motorway. It's got to be over 38 miles per hour. OK, but it detects what lane you're in. So if you're driving in your lane and you just stray out of the lane for any reason, you can choose between a visual warning, which flags up on the dashboard to tell you you're straying across the lane, or you can actually have an active intervention where the power steering will actually kick in and gently steer the car back into your lane, okay? Um, also, if for any reason you didn't have the, your hands on the steering wheel, I'd like to think you would, but if you didn't at any, any time during that, lane um, stray that the the car will actually remind you uh, with a message to keep your hands on the steering wheel like a safety message okay but it is great and it is a bit of a funny sensation when you're driving and all of a sudden the steering wheel sort of takes over a little bit but it's just to keep you safe and keep you in that lane considering the driver assistance pack also includes automatic high beam control i think for 750 pounds it's well worth it you know it's not just one upgrade you're getting you're getting sort of four to five things within that upgrade. Brilliant pit, bit of technology. Um, you know, it's a, a brilliant safety feature. So I think it's great. Um, right, what I'll do now, I'll move the camera around and I'll show you just how to scroll through using the steering wheel buttons. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, now to set up these functions on your Focus, you're gonna be using the right hand side um, steering wheel control, okay? And it will show you on your dash in front of you. Okay, so first of all, you want to press the left arrow, okay, and you'll see the dash change. And you want to go down to settings, okay, by using the down arrow. And when you're over settings, press OK, and you're presented with this settings section. So, driver assist, you press OK, and there you have the traction control blind spot system, city stop, driver alert, hill start assist, all your different functions there, okay? Um, so that's the way to go into them, to operate them, if you wanna turn them on, if you want to use them, anything like that, okay? So let's go back out of there for a second. 
um, I believe the lane assist is actually on your indicator stalk. It is on this model here. Um, we have a picture of it just on our indicator stalk. That's the best way to see it, just here. So if I press the end of the indicator stalk, then you can turn that on by scrolling across by a warning or by the intervention system. Okay, right. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope it's helped you out. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.